and we should also look at some examples that involve negative numbers. In all of these examples, one or more of the fractions are negative. See, this one has two negative numbers, and down here all three of the fractions are negative. And again, we're multiplying. These are all multiplied together. And the rules here are the same as the rules we've seen before. If we have a negative number times a positive number, the result will be negative. In this example, look, here's two negative numbers multiplied together. The result there will be positive. And down here, we have three negative numbers all multiplied together. The result there will be negative. And the, the easiest way to remember this is to remember that an even number of negative signs will cancel out. So like in this one here, we have a negative and a negative and those two negative signs cancel out, but an odd number of negative signs, like we have in this one and this one, an odd number of negative signs multiplied together will result in a negative answer. So sometimes it's helpful just to look at the numbers and take note of whether they are positive or negative, and mentally make a note of whether your result will be positive or negative before you start. So let's do these problems, and in this first one I notice that I have a negative and a positive, so the result will have to be a negative number. And then I just proceed to do the multiplication. 2 times 4 is 8, and 7 times 3 is 21. Just as before, we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So we get 8 over 21, and this has to be negative 8 over 21. Now we could write that as, uh, you could write it, as negative 8 over 21 or you could write it as negative 8 over 21 or you could write it as 8 over negative 21 all of those expressions are mathematically equal to each other but this one is not very common as we've mentioned before having the negative sign on the denominator is not wrong it's not a mathematical error but it's pretty standard to either have the negative sign out front or on the numerator so we'll leave it on the numerator like that. Okay, this next one. Negative four-fifths times two-sevenths times negative one-ninths. I know that two negative signs multiplied together will cancel out. So I'm just going to basically ignore the negative signs and do the, do the multiplication. Four times two times one is just the same as four times two, which is eight. And then five times seven is 35 times 9, just pull out some scratch paper, 9 times 5 is 45, 9 times 3 is 27, plus 4 is 31, so that's 315. So this is 8 over 315. And that doesn't simplify any further. If it did simplify, we would have tried to simplify these uh, numerators and denominators over here beforehand. And we can do that down here. Negative two-thirds times negative one-sixth times negative three-fourths. Okay, I know there are three negative signs multiplied together, so the answer will be negative. And let's simplify a little bit. This three and this three, those will reduce to ones. And this two, you could take the two and the six or the two and the four, either way. If I reduce the 2 and the 6, I divide them both by 2, I get a 1 and a 3. And so I have 1 times 1 times 1, that's 1. And down on the bottom, 3 times 4, which is 12. And my answer has to be negative, don't forget that. So negative 1 12th.